Greetings, DJ Stosh is here with another video. Uh, our local record store, Jesse Carl Vinyl in Lakeland, had a uh, end of summer sale on Saturday. It was the last day of their sale, which had been going on for I think about 10 days. And I got a notice uh, from my wife that I should go down there if I wanted to check out any of their uh, end of summer savings. So I did and uh, spent a, a couple of hours in there and came back with some pretty cool stuff. So I was just gonna make a quick video to show what I found. So first of all, she had a few bins out with uh, four for a dollar vinyl. And uh, I didn't really find too much in there, but I found a Bay City Rollers album uh, that I wanted to get, which was this one. I've never owned a copy of it. It's a game. I uh, found out when I took it home that it was uh, stuck together. So, you know, for a quarter, I guess you could do a lot worse. But <laughs> anyway, that's what the inside of the gatefold looked like after I was able to separate it a little bit. So uh, there was a little bit of paper that came off here in the separation. But other than that, it's, it's actually in really nice shape. So I uh, found a couple of other Bay City Rollers albums for a quarter each. Found this one, which I believe is their first album. And I have a couple of their albums, uh, Japanese pressings already on vinyl that I, I like. So uh, the original Scottish boy band, uh, sort of glam disco uh, power pop stuff. And it's, it's enjoyable music, even though it's not very fashionable to be a Bay City Rollers fan these days. Uh, these guys really knew how to rock the tartan uh, Parisian jumpsuits, though. You got to hand them that. <laughs> this one's just gatefold all over the place, and it's called Rock and Ro Rock and Roll Love Letter. So those are the three Bay City Rollers albums that I picked up, and I needed another album to make my quarter, so I picked up like for the third time. Jackson Brown's uh, Hold Out, <laughs> which has uh, my favorite song on here, Disco Apocalypse. Although Boulevard's a great song too, and they used to play that on the rock radio stations here where I grew up. Um, this one looks like it's in really good shape. I have had copies of this before and, and eventually just got rid of them because, you know, I was kind of purging the collection and this was something that was expendable, but, you know, now I've got it again for a quarter, so. It's a good album. Uh, found this, never seen it before. I paid about a buck for it. It's still sealed. Ugly Knuckle Butt by Bobby Jimmy and the Critters. I am not at all familiar with this album. The only songs I know by them are uh, We Like Ugly Women and Roaches. And uh, I don't even see the date on this record, so I don't know if it's before or after those songs, but uh, it's got Big Butt on it, which I think I might have heard. Anyway, so picked that one up, sealed. Uh, picked up a copy of the musical youth album, The Youth of Today, with Pass the Duchy. Looks like it's in really nice shape. Paid about a buck for that. Also found a another Hugo Montenegro album. This one's called uh, Colors of Love. It's got a little notch cut in the bottom. Other than that, looks to be in good shape. Uh, this is the fourth one I've picked up by him, and I've really enjoyed the first three. Of course, uh, Hugo Montenegro had a big hit in the 60s with his version of the theme to the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then finally, <clears throat> the last album that I brought home, I paid retail for this, which was $20. It's a reissue of Iron Maiden's Peace of Mind, uh, their first album, or second album with Bruce Dickinson. And uh, I believe fourth release overall, fourth studio album that is. This is Gatefold. Um, I did actually have this, an original pressing at one time, and I have all of my other original pressing Iron Maiden albums from the early 80s, uh, except for this record. So at some point, I think I got rid of my original copy because I had acquired the picture disc with the brain on it. Uh, which is worth a lot of money now, but I sold that one because it had such terrible sound quality So I ended up with no copies of this. So this is a welcome addition to the Maiden collection uh, This is gonna go right in there and it's it actually looks like a beautifully done repressing So I can't wait to hear what it sounds like Anyway, just a quick update uh, leave your comments and questions below and please subscribe uh, And I should be putting out a couple more videos soon with other recent uh, record store finds. Thanks